All right, good evening, folks. So I ended up making some progress today. I've got the door opening just about built. Hey, it's way over here. I'm reaching over here for some reason. <laughs> I guess I'm used to reaching in front of the monitor, but I should be reaching in front of the, the lens. And as I got the door opening made, I just have to weld that all up. So you can see how that's looking. And I found some grates to put inside. Now I just have to lift them up and put them on an angle. I'm gonna lift them up a little higher, but that's where we will feed it from. So we're gonna, I'm gonna put a piece of angle across either side to bring those grates up. You know, it's gonna stick maybe, uh, maybe a little bit lower than this door opening here. So uh, that'll still give us lots of room. So we have the grates now. I have the door opening made. I just have to finish welding it all up. That's the cover that come off. So then I will have to build a door for it as well. So it's all come out of my scrap, okay? That's, that's why I love scrap around. I think I've told you that before. And uh, I don't plan on cleaning it up anytime soon because I dig into my scrap pile so much, it's unbelievable. This whole unit, except for the hinges that Heather's mom gave us, and this motor and the shaft and that little frame, it's all built out of scrap that we had here. Tires and rims, the frame, the drum, you know, everything has been all scrap so far, including the grates. Even this angle, I'm going to clean this angle up here. All being built out of scrap. Love it. And uh, I have a temperature gauge as well to go on here. I just got to drill a hole and put it in and that will work fine too. And uh, this is what it's looking like inside here. That's easy to lift. Oh yeah, no problem at all. So that's the opening. I have to trim up inside there a little wee bit. But anyways, that's the great. Just out of an old barbecue that was laying around. Probably got out of the scrap somewhere. But anyways, I'll clean that up, re-weld that. I will weld the door. Um, clean up the inside, of course, grind it flush, because I made sure uh, one side was really, really straight and the inside I wasn't concerned because it gets trimmed off anyways, and I will weld that up. So we got the grates. So I put the angle in along down there. It, there's enough to go all the way across both sides. And that'll be this scrap angle, like I say, right here. Got to reach over there again. Uh, <laughs> under the lens, not under the viewfinder. So I have to cut that, clean it up. It gets welded in here. And on either end, I'm going to put some draft openings. So you open those and the air can come in from either side. And it'll be like those old, remember those old little stoves? See right in here, look at this. Right here, right here. I don't know if that's going to be big enough though. Maybe I have to make, but one on either end shouldn't be too bad. And we have to, we need to just open that door a little wee bit there just to get it. Well, no, that'll be above. We want to be able to open it below that. So, hey, we're going to figure it out. Don't worry. Don't worry. If I have to, I'll build a little door like that, a little long one at the far side. I might just do that anyways. You know how I'm thinking about it? I might build a long one underneath here something that we can just lift up if we want to to give it more air so the air can go in so instead of the ends i'll probably do it right here i think that might be okay although i'm a little worried about how warm that might get on the feet it'll be under the coals though it'll be underneath it so your heat rises so it shouldn't be that bad i'm gonna think that one through there not sure yet but uh anyways that's how far i got so far on it today oh we got our water line as well we got that we got um, 600 feet of it, of the inch and a quarter, uh, 75 PSI water line. Now, remember, there's not going to be no pressure on it. It's all vacuum because it's not going to be pressurized. It's going to be drawing, the pump's going to be drawing it back. Yeah! Doesn't that give a good sound, eh? And next thing I have to do is cut this off, trim this here. It's too long. Trim that off. Um, build a little hood over the electric motor back there so it doesn't get wet in the rain and uh, build brackets to bolt the fenders on weld those wheels up weld the spindles up solid put a little tongue on the front of it here and uh, bolt that two by six on there build some chimneys and I think we've just about got that wrapped up folks just about and uh, hey, I'm pretty happy. As soon as this is done, we're starting on the house. 
Oh, we even got, we even got mortar mix uh, type S for laying the concrete out, for doing the concrete blocks in the basement, for filling in those holes. So yeah, so we got all that. And the bike, haven't got it back together yet because uh, you know, that's a spare time type deal, but I wanna get the, I wanna get this uh, done first. So anyways, yes, um, that, hmm, look at those handlebars. Look at that, eh? All brand new painted. Oh, 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 don't want to scratch my throttle up now. So that's done. The rack, I set it back here, it was in the way. Not too bad. Heather's sitting there relaxing, aren't you, Heather? <laughs> it's been a long day, hasn't it? Yeah. We got a lot done, though, eh? Because we didn't just work on the barbecue. We went, we went and got our water line. We got our mortar mix, our Type S. So... As soon as the barbecue is done, we are going to clean this up real quick in here. Get rid of our scrap that we've been working on. Get these put over in the burn pile over on the barbecue. We're going to burn those. And um, we're going to go out. We're going to go out and do our water. Yeah. Do around the house. Mm -hmm. It'd be great. Uh, I'm looking forward to the water for sure. I bet you are. Especially today. Like it's cooling off now. So it's 25 degrees here. So it's, so it's just under... 80 degrees Fahrenheit, but today it was up. Um, what was it yesterday? It was it was 100. You said 40. It was like in the sun, yeah. In, well, that's where we were, cause in the sun. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't even know if they can hear you. To be honest with you, because I got the microphone on. I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, so yeah, it was 40 in the sun. It was 40 in the sun. So that's uh, that's over 100 then. See that? That would be about 104, 40 degrees. So it'd be 104 in the sun. And that's where we were working, right there. Today, right now it's 80. But it was hotter than that today though, eh? Oh yeah, it was up to, I think I, think I noticed it at around 35 in the sun today. 35 in the sun. And that is, 35 is 90 roughly. No, it'd be 90, 90 some. Um, Yep. Yeah. 35 would be over 90. Yeah. Oh. And uh, why do you think when I was welding and grinding, the sweat was running no, off me? No, I know. Why. <laughs> it was warm. Could, could you grab your dad's sign we made for him, please, off the car? I don't want to go over there because we have another sign made, and uh, it's for somebody, and I don't want to reveal it yet. But I sprayed clear coat on this one. This is going on. This is going on uh, the barbecue. Now I left it. I left it a little bit rusty, but I put clear on it. Hold her up, babe. That's how that looks. So that's got clear coat on it. You can see that. I'm trying to move around here. If you could hold that straight, Heather, I could move. Sorry. When, when you hold it, and then I move and you follow me, it defeats the purpose. <laughs> so that's how that's looking. So it's got a nice coat of clear. It's dry now, and uh, looking not bad. Looking not bad. So I will build some tabs on, I'll build some tabs. That's okay, babe, thanks. We're gonna put it in the shed if you don't mind, okay? Along with the other one. Thanks. So I'm gonna build some tabs here and then we'll just drill some holes and we'll bolt that on here for him. So, and it'll be far enough away that's not going to get cooked. Hold that up, babe, if you don't mind. Let's hold her up. Yeah, oh, look at that. Doesn't that look nice? I'm gonna zoom in here a bit. Oh yeah, pretty cool. But my plasma's broke. I think I mentioned that. Someday I'll get one. But I can't get, I can't get a larger plasma than the one I had though, because my generators won't run it. That's why I didn't get another one. Not to mention they were more expensive, but my generator wouldn't run it anyways. I don't even know if I can run a 30 amp plasma. I think all it can be is probably a uh, uh, 20 amp. I think that's the maximum I can get away with. But anyways, this is coming along. I wanted to give you a little update on this. And uh, that's the update so far. I think it's coming along great. We're going to put some tools away because I think it's going to rain. We've got black flies buzzing around us like crazy. Oh, look at this. I want to show you what we did here. We did this last night here. Look, check this out, okay? Heather and I went at it. Okay, I mowed all out here. I use the, normally Heather uses that mower there and I use the big one. So she'll come behind me and she'll go down and she'll mulch and, and 
and she'll make it a little wider so I just come back so there's less for me to do. We mowed all this now look at see how much these have grown just in the last couple days see that look at that corn remember that corn do you remember that from the other day look at how tall that corn is now things grow incredibly fast up here for some reason look at these tomatoes now and the beans I know it probably doesn't look tall but they have grown a lot since the last time I did that video and and when you see the video that's that's the day before when I put these videos up Tomatoes, mm, they're still somewhat slow. I don't think they like the ground too much in here. Oh, look at that. That's still doing really good in there, I tell you. But my onions, see here? They're starting to put the tops on now. So they'll grow three or four bulbs on there and then they'll flop over and grow again. Now, look at this. Look at this sunflower. Look at the onions. Remember I was showing you those onions? Look at those onions. That's the size of my hand in here. Look at the size of those onions. That's how big they are. That's what they grow like up here, in case you didn't know that. Look at this, look at that sunflower. That was in the video I showed you. I don't even think her carrots, her carrots were just starting to come up and look at that. Look at the size of them. I think those are carrots. Maybe it's dill. I don't know. That's dill maybe. I think, I think this is dill. And that's, that's carrots. <laughs> Sorry. And that's her peppers. Yeah, and our... Chives, chives, they're all out in, uh, they're all out in full blossom. They're gonna drop seed soon, along with that dandelion. I will show you our has caps as well, and then I'll show you what else we did out front. Sorry about the shaky camera. I'm not using my gimbal tonight. I'm using my camera because my cell phone went dead, and we're just charging it. So, bear with me, please. Yeah, so. Oh, you can hear those black flies buzzing, can't you? It's going to rain, that's why. So I was putting some stuff away, and then I am going to come in and I'll carry the welder and put that away, but it's pretty heavy for her. So you can see the size of those. Look at those berries. See those? They're all starting to come on here. Look at those. These are honey berries, I think, and the other name is Hascaps. Yeah, starting our row of wild raspberries they're all out in full bore nothing on them yet but they're they're going too soon so Heather's gonna put stuff away she's gonna put my shield away the grinder all the grinding discs I think it's all done even the bag of grinding discs zip cut discs oh thank you I'll just come back then and I'll just take in the welder I'll show you what else we did up here I feel I feel rain starting there's gonna be a quick one. Oh, we even have our uh, we call them, I grew up calling them sugar plums. There's multiple names. There's, uh, I, I mean, there's different types, right? But Saskatoon berry, service berry. But look at these, they're starting to really uh, blossom. I threw some, threw some berries here a few years back. This one got broken, no big deal. But they're still really putting on the, on the berries. So what I'll do is I'll pick these berries and I'll see if I can get them growing again. So Heather and I went at it and we, mowed this again second time this has been mowed this year that's all just second time but it's starting to fill in nicely robin over there sure seems to love it and then all up here we mowed up here oh and my son come out to get his camper trailer he's going to take it up to where he lives but it was a bad tire so i told him if we get a chance i'll change it, change the tire for him and i will so all this is mowed up along here where we could it's my cousin's stuff there um Another Jeep Liberty, my son's vehicle's up here. Anyways, that is all mowed up along through there. We try to cut the grass up here every chance we get. It's nice. And we're just up here and there was three or four rabbits. Three or four little, I used to call them jack rabbits. I guess that's what we have up here. A type of jack rabbit. The irises, the purple ones are out full blossom. We're just waiting for the yellow ones. They're not out yet, but the purple ones are out. So now we mow the grass all around through in here. And you can see those. Oh, there's some yellow ones starting. Look at this, folks. Look at this. Look at this. So I had to move this out of the way. This, is, this wasn't even mine. Fella left it here is gonna come back a uh, <clears throat> month later. And I guess you know how that goes. Uh, two years later, it's still here. So. 
yeah. Anyways, that is the purple irises. I'm hoping they're purple. I'm colorblind, but I'm pretty sure they're purple. They're all out in their full glory. We see we have the yellow ones starting. The yellow ones have the broad leaf. They're a wider, they're a wider leaf. You can tell the yellow ones usually. I don't know if they have any colors other than yellow and purple as far as the irises go. Heather, well I planted these a long time ago before I met Heather. I planted these up here a long time before that. But this was all brush when I met Heather. This was all little trees here. That used to be clean when I lived here years ago, but uh, there was no brush, but and the brush started to go. Let's go see if we can see Mr. Rabbit here. I'll show you our water line too we got. So we're slowly getting geared up. Oh, sorry, I hit the microphone. We're slowly getting geared up to do our water. We're gonna be working on the house very, very shortly, folks. I'm sorry about this camera shaking without a gimbal. It's hard to hold it. And it's not even a light camera. I'm just tired from working all day. It is getting fairly late in the evening. So our well is right here. Okay, that's our well. That's a water pump. It's a Honda. That's a, that's a fire hose that we use for filling up that big tank back there. And that's what we use in our well is right here. So we're gonna dig a trench from here all the way out back. It's all downhill out back. It'll be to the left of the dozer and we'll dig a trench all the way back, drop our water line. This is the water line we got. 600 feet of it, 300 feet per roll. This is what we got and it is GPL inch and a quarter by 300 feet. 75 PSL, 75 PSI at 23C 2406.15. I guess that's the date it was made. I don't know. It mean much to me. <clears throat> yep. So I haven't done nothing on the dozer yet, but I plan on getting her going again. I plan on getting that going because I really like that little dozer. Yeah, really enjoy it. It works great for us. So, yeah, I don't see... Uh, Mr. Rabbit up here now, but he was up here a little while ago. He hangs out here lots. Oh, and our tame, our tame roses are starting out too. I planted these tame roses here years and years ago, and now they've just taken over the bush here. They've just taken this over. So what I eventually want to do is move them out back. They stretch from up there, that old, old uh, greenhouse. They stretch from there, they stretch all the way back. In fact, look at this. Look at this, I'm gonna pick this for Heather here there's a tame rose it's not a it's not that big yet out 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 so there's one I'll set this here there's one rose there's another one right here I don't want to get a brose I guess you know what a brose is a it's a rose with a bee in oh, it's a rose with a bee on it in it Ooh, that hurts I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pick that one and these bugs are unreal man oh man I might have to set that camera down and grab it no I don't there we go that two nice little roses these are our tame ones oh hey the bugs man the bugs they're bad yeah so we have the tame ones here that we planted and I'll show you what the wild ones look like the tame ones have multiple petals Ooh, that was a hole there sorry about shaking the camera they have multiple petals. The wild ones only have about five or six petals. I'll show you what they look like back here. I'll show you what the wild ones look like. I'm sure all of you folks have the wild ones growing around where you live. If you live in a place, <laughs> well, maybe you don't have them growing. I don't know. I don't know me. This is our other little patch of chives, chives, whatever you want to call them. I don't see any of the wild roses out in blossom. They were a little while ago when Dave uh, Kirkman was up, but I don't see them now blossoming back here. But anyways, like I say, we do have the tame ones going. That's a hot water heater we're going to use in the basement. We're gonna turn that into a 12 volt one. So you'll see videos on how I do that as well. Anyways, these bugs are friendly. Friendly. I'm gonna take these back and give them to Heather. Oh, they ever smell nice. Wow. 
Um, roses and lilacs, my two favorite color or two favorite smells when it comes to flowers. Roses and lilacs. Oh, roses especially. I, I have to dig a bunch of these and transplant a good row back here. They smell so nice. They keep the bees around for the garden. Oh, here's a wild, here's the wild ones right here. Okay, I'm going to show you the difference. Ha. So there's a wild one. One, two, three, four, five petals. Five petals. Here's the tame ones. See the difference? So the wild one, tame one. Yeah. So anyways, yeah. They grow on this side hill. But this side hill is going to be all gone soon. I'm going to dig that all out. This side stay in here. But this is all leaving here. So I'm going to take this and give it to Heather. She might even be in the house yet. I don't even know if she knows I'm back here. I'm going to call her out. Oh, here she is right here in the garden. Go give it to her. What do you think? We'll give them to her. How's it going, babe? I had two, I had lots, not new, they're still there, but I kind of batted them around, I had ants nests in there. Ants? Oh, here, look at this. Oh, thanks. Look at the bugs around you. I know. <laughs> That's how, are they it's that bad around me too? No. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> you better go inside. I'm going to put the welder in and I'll be in. Okay. So those, those are our tame roses, the ones I planted years and years ago. Yeah. I was probably about 1920 when I planted those. You know that? Yeah. Yeah. Smell nice, eh? Okay, I'm gonna be in. I'm gonna put the put the welder away and I'll be in. Okay. I think. Yeah. Grandkids were here. They left their bicycles out. <laughs> I'll put them away. Anyways, uh, that's about it, folks. So uh, you all take care, and we'll talk to you another time. Now, bye bye.